I decided to come to UNESCO IHE because uh, I wanted to have the experience to study abroad and to meet uh, other students around the world and have the opportunity of learn uh, more about hydraulic engineering and land and water development uh, for my area of study and uh, have the experience to to go home and apply all the the new things I learned and maybe to cooperate with my country to have more um, better management of uh, water for the agriculture area. Yes, water resource management will make a cooperation and uh, advancement in water management in Tanzania and the Southern African region because the whole region now is undergoing transformation in water resource management. This is the integrated water resource management and the decentralization. So my specialization, which is water management, cuts across the economics, the politics, and the technical aspects of water. Probably sharing knowledge is a, is a main aspect of water cooperation. And, uh, and what I'm bringing back to Uruguay is basically is knowledge, new knowledge. So uh, I will do my best to, to share it with my colleagues, of, work, of course, but why not with other, other students? And uh, I also uh, try to apply it on the project I, I would work on. And uh, well, I think that's, that's already a good uh, way of water cooperating. Okay, um, I come from Zimbabwe, Southern African region, and most of the countries there are in a post-colonial phase and we are going through urban development, rural development. So my specialization will help in uh, bringing about that development in an environmentally sustainable manner, um, especially considering that the uh, environment has to be considered over vast um, industries like mining and land, agriculture. So across those sectors, if I manage to penetrate in all those sectors. I can make the right uh, help in making the right decisions, and assist also in making the right policies, especially policies that would make the real difference in Africa, not just taking policies from outside and trying to fit them in uh, in a region like um, Southern Africa. And uh, as we see that um, uh, students from all over the world participates so it gives one uh, edge for creating a solution for local problems at global platform where you have uh, students from every country and global issues with local innovations because uh, you, you you contribute to towards global issues global problems from your perspective so it gives you a local solutions local innovations so there is a lot of influence maybe that I can have in decision making regarding uh, maybe the processes that we're doing, optimization of the processes. But then within the country, like now we are doing groundwater and there's a lot of other, other provinces that are using groundwater. So with the knowledge that I'm gaining now, so I can easily implement things that I've studied. And then with rainwater being, uh, with rainwater kind of uh, branching out to uh, countries like Lesotho and stuff. So with uh, with that, one can see that there's a lot of possibilities and uh, kind of implementations and monitoring programs that can be done. And with the courses within UNESCO, one can actually do more research and yeah, implement whatever that one has gained. There's need for countries to realize that the water bodies and the sources of water they use are partly shared. A good example is in my country that shares Lake Victoria with Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania and also uh, River Nile which is shared uh, by countries all the way from Sudan to Egypt. And I think we need to know the origin of the water, we need to know where it passes, how to conserve it, how to protect it and how to use it in a sustainable manner. And uh, by coming together and uh, sharing ideas, both in, in and out of lectures and class situations, we're able to find ways in which we can be able 
do know that uh, water is a key component in the life of people around the world and that waters do cross borders and uh, if we use it wisely, if they are using a sustainable manner, they can be able to assist uh, communities to develop and uh, achieve uh, equitable uh, means of uh, development. And as uh, in the next 10, 20 years, there is a lot of uh, need in the, in the development of uh, water areas. Uh, a lot of ports need to be built in the, in the coastline to develop the trading between the Vietnam and uh, the other countries in the region. So I think uh, it would be useful uh, when I study this uh, uh, this field uh, of uh, coastal engineering and port development and then come back to help uh, my country to uh, develop the port uh, system along the coastline of Vietnam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, since Thailand shared the transfer dairy uh, basin for the Mekong River Basin and I see that studying about uh, water conflict management will contribute my work. I work as a legal officer in Department of Water Resources. In here, I learn about the, uh, the big picture of transboundary water management and also instruments to uh, prevent, to anticipate the conflict and also to manage the conflict. So after this, I will uh, apply what I study here uh, to change from the potential conflict to um, potential cooperation. So I think uh, in our country, we will improve both socially, economically, and uh, politically, also environment, uh, in uh, water services by uh, accessing uh, safe water to everyone, both uh, rich and poor, and this will enable uh, to increase productivity because everyone will have a safe health. Uh, I would say that uh, water resources is the main reason for conflict in many countries, uh, especially in my country, because we have uh, problems in water, we have water scarcity, we have polluted water. Uh, so I think if we expand our resources, like if we go to seawater, uh, we can have a huge amount of water, so this conflict could be less. So by, by this way we can solve the problem.